Hello, hello, greetings, brothers and sisters. Today we are looking at hot topics or different ideas from around the world that can help us with um, our children's ministry. My name is Christina Kraus and I am in Mexico City and I work for Children Are Important. Uh, my husband and I founded this ministry and we've got a great team that's working on curriculum in various languages. And so we're doing some different videos and today we're going to cover hot topics, just some ideas that are going around the world. So today we're going to look at uh, using social media in your children's ministry. So basically when social media first came out, you know, there might have been a few of us that have, were a little bit uh, thinking that this is just for young people or this is uh, not going to be around for very long. <laughs> but uh, actually it's here to stay. We have so we have just so many people on social media and it's just the easiest way to communicate. I, I'm actually pretty bad at social media. I, I struggle with carrying a cell phone. I struggle with always remembering, hey, wait, what's going on? Staying following and posting regularly. I struggle with it. But honestly, when I was uh, a teenager, my parents and I moved to Mexico, or I, my family moved to Mexico as missionaries. And uh, we lived in a small town that had no telephone. No, any, no phone lines at all. So we had to walk down to the corner store to make a phone call, and they had one phone there. We didn't have any cell phones, and there was no internet yet. So uh, we were basically sort of in this small town, but you would be sort of stranded, like you couldn't see what was going on. I, I, <clears throat> I couldn't go download like sermons from uh, great uh, preachers or from great churches, and. <laughs> So you're just stranded in this little town. Boy, has the world changed. Now we all have cell phones. <clears throat> in fact, not that long ago, I remember I, I used to was listening to music on CDs. And actually with CDs, they're so more, that's just a very difficult. Now we're just gonna use Spotify or some other thing on our phone and download the songs and have them available on our cell phones. So, uh, life has changed quite a bit, and actually we need to start adapting to what God is doing around the world and use internet and social media as a tool. So I just want to encourage you today that uh, social media is not any, it's not good, it's not bad, it's not, any, it's just a tool that we can use for our children's ministry. So one of the things I wanted to share, um, I recently attended a workshop, but online, right? Because I'm in Mexico, and <laughs> so um, it's difficult and expensive to travel, but I was able to attend a workshop online, and I met a ministry of twin brothers. They're called the Tornado Twins, and their names are Ephraim and Ruben, and they have 15 years of experience in children's ministry, and their ministry is called Kids Want Answers. Dot com. So you can go look that up, kidswantanswers.com. And actually, it's, it's, uh, it was kind of amazing. They, they're young, but at the same time, they have 15 years' experience working with children. One of the things that just really, really stood out to me was, uh, as they were sharing, they said they're trying to always stay in touch with the lives of the students who they're reaching. They're always trying to... Uh, they try to listen to their music, they go visit their schools, they are trying to constantly see, stay in contact and in touch with what's going on in the young people. And we're talking youth, but also adolescentes, and they'd say like, even the, even like 12, 13, 14 year olds, they imagine themselves youth, so to stay in touch with them. So Ephraim and Ruben, they actually said on this workshop, they said that they actually listen to the music that the kids are listening to at school. So they're listening to secular music instead of Christian music. They're listening to what the kids are, and then they started taking um, jobs where they would uh, DJ a, a party at somebody's house or at the school. So when the school had a party, they would be the DJ and they would use the music that the 
kids are listening to today. And they said the more they listen to the music that the kids are using at home and in their personal lives on their personal cell phone, the more uh, they were able to DJ the party better because they, under, they knew the songs well. And if they didn't know the songs very well at all, they did not make a good party because they couldn't get their feel for it. Just hit me like, whoa, that's just way beyond anything I've ever tried to do. First of all, I would, I've never listened to the, the music the kids are listening to today. Like, I'll hear it on the street, right? You go shopping or whatever, or you go down to the bakery to buy something, and you're going to hear music, right, that everyone's listening to. But to have it on my phone and to listen and, and um, be listening to it so that I could reach those students, that's just amazing to me. And I thought, I don't know if I could do it. I honestly don't know if I could do it. But I think that's a good example for us. And um, these guys have created a full video game of the Bible. And they have one of the hottest YouTube channels on game development today. So basically, these guys are these guys are very modern, and they have a ministry to students that is impacting students all over the world as they write curriculum, they make videos, they do this, have a Bible video game. So they're they're really making a difference. So that's pretty um, exciting and at the same time like scary. <laughs> Whoa. So I want to say hi to Vencedora de Cristo. Hello, hello, good to see you. Good. Okay, so here we are talking about technology in the ministry or basically this hot topic of should we use social media. Now I do have this book with me, Technology in the Ministry. And next week we I have an invited guest with us, Suki Tengis, who wrote this book and she's gonna share on this book. But basically, I just wanted to point out a couple of things here we've got um, inside her book on social media. Basically, the ideas are this. With social media, so we're talking Facebook, Twitter, or whatever you use in your country more, you can do announcements for your students. You can reach the parents. So maybe the students don't have a cell phone. It's going to depend on the age, right? So if you have children's ministry where they're all very young, uh, they're not going to have a cell phone, but their parents probably will have a cell phone. So you can use, for example, WhatsApp to send announcements to the parents of the kids in your ministry. You could tell them what curriculum you're working on or what's the main message for this week. You could also send pictures of class or a little announcement, those memes. It's basically a picture with text on it so that you could show exactly, uh, show some ideas or the vision of your class to the parents during the week. So actually, for me, children, uh, social media is a tool that we can use. For example, right now, I am using social media to talk to people on the other side of the planet. So right now I'm doing English, and then in, in 15 minutes we'll be doing Spanish. And uh, so I could be, I'll be, somebody will be watching in the Spanish from Chile or Argentina that's just way south of Mexico and uh, so it's pretty exciting that we can use social media as a tool for ministry and I believe you can use it as a tool for your children's ministry today. So a couple ideas on social media, you just want to be very careful, um, safety with the students, you want to make sure you never write a student's full name so that people can figure out where they live and stuff, so you don't want their last name. Also, um, just a reminder that all posts are permanent, even though social media is constantly revolving in new stuff, so your posts are going to get old very quickly. The truth is, once it's out there, it's out there. So you want to think about what you're going to say and watch your tongue so that um, you don't go on record saying something that you should not have said. <laughs> so that's one. Also, examine photos. Make sure there's no background that shows too much. Very good. So those are some ideas for social media and taking care. Also, um, you could send messages as prizes. Like you could make an announcement to a group Facebook page that says um, Samuel won the prize. And when you announce it to everyone on the group, he's going to get like public recognition. And then you get as many likes there as you can. And so he's going to feel good as you um, share his successes in children's ministry, but uh, online. <laughs> if you had a note that you wanted to send home to parents, and you wrote it down on a piece of paper, and you handed it to those students, and you said, take this home, give this to your parents, 
honestly, you would have trouble with uh, them seeing it, reading it, getting it actually to the parents. The kids lose it, whatever. But if you were to send a WhatsApp message to the parents of your students, they are going to get that WhatsApp. As soon as that phone goes beep, they're going to stop, they're going to grab their cell phone, they're going to read it. Because people like the social media, people like have, being in contact with other people on their cell phone. So you're going to see right off the bat, people are going to answer it, look at it, and you will have communicated with the parents. Alright, hope you have a good time using social media in your ministry, and of course, you use whatever ideas you want. Obviously, um, we can't do everything, so we just try some. But a Facebook page, a group page for the parents of your students in your class would be fabulous. I want to introduce to you my husband, Dwight. Hi there. <laughs> so, thank you for joining us today on this theme for Hot Topics. Let us know what you're <coughs> using for Hot Topics in your ministry. And we'll see you tomorrow. We're going to look at some uh, making noise in classrooms. <laughs> awesome. All right. We'll see you later.